another day and welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan Fox and finally today I am going to give you my grand tour of my new office space, sewing space, crafting space, just basically the little Megan cave. I feel very privileged to have this. You walk in our front door and then this is the first room to your left. And we've been working on this since February just off and on. And I feel so much more organized. I feel so much more motivated and inspired just having a space that's not. If you've been to, on my channel for a while, you'll know that I used to actually just edit up in a corner in our bedroom, which was fine. It worked. It was great. But now I have a dedicated space where I don't have to always be packing up my stuff and putting it away. And it just feels awesome. So thank you for being here today. Anyway, what do you guys want to see first? So this office space has come so far. If you've been around for a while, you remember that Josh used to work in here and I used to sew in here. It was very dark and it felt very small. And honestly, this room is, it feels so much bigger now. It has come so far and I could not be happier. I do apologize if the lighting is a little bit weird sometimes. We still don't have recessed lighting put up in our ceilings yet because that's like a project attached to another project. So it is happening, just not right now. And it hasn't been a problem in real life because I have all the natural light flooding in from the window, which I'll show you in a second. But the first thing I wanted to mention was the paint color. I branched out a little bit from white. We love our Benjamin Moore paints. And so the walls are called Pale Oak. It is like the most beautiful neutral you can imagine. It's very popular. You can Google it online and see a lot of different spaces with it in. It's just beautiful. And then we went a little bit darker on the door that my husband built. This barn door is so, it's show stopping. I just love it so much. And he installed the barn door hinges on it and everything. And we use this to hide all <laughs> the clutter that is sometimes in the toy room because we only clean up the toy room about once a week. Actually, it's not too bad today. Um, we only clean up the toy room about once a week. So half the time it is kind of a wreck and it's nice to kind of like have that cordoned off and it also keeps the kids from, well, I don't usually work a lot while they're awake. I work over nap times and stuff, but anyway, this door is super handy and it is painted in hazelwood and I just love it. We went back and forth so many times. Should we keep it bare wood? I filmed with it like that for a little bit. I saw that it did not work. Um, just couldn't see the details of the molding on the door. And yeah, I love it. I couldn't be happier. The trim is all Chantilly lace, a nice crisp white. We have that throughout our whole house. Our table that my husband built for me is also in Chantilly lace. We painted that and this work desk area space is so nice. I knew I wanted something going around the corner so that um, I could sew, I could have my um, computer set up, and it's just been working like a dream. There's not a lot of storage space, but I'll show you my storage in just a second. But then I decided to take myself a little less seriously and do just more of a fun mural on the wall. Well, mural is kind of an exact exaggeration, <laughs> just like a fun paint detail. And I did these two arches, and I just went to Home Depot and got their Valspar samples. Um, they're not super expensive, and this is in Valspar's Western Pink color and then the big arch is in that and then the smaller arch I just mixed pale oak. I would say it's six parts pale oak and then one part of the western pink you know just to water it down a lot and make it really pale and I think it looks so good I love it it's very fun and girly and yeah I think it'd be a great thing to add to a nursery or a girl's room I like it in my office I have a feeling I will get sick of it in a year or two and paint over it but for now loving it to death and my accent shelf as well I painted in Chantilly lace. So I think that covers the paint colors. Let's take a closer look at my desk and then I'll talk a little bit about what's on it and how I manage storage in this room, which I have a really great find, find in here. I wanted to mention I will be giving sources for different things, putting everything down below in the description box if you would like to know where I got something. And there's a lot of thrifted items in here too, a lot of DIYs such as the door, a mirror, Josh Mimi. You'll see there's so much. So this tour hopefully will not only be fun, but I'll try to make it helpful as well. So down here I have a trash can that I picked up. I think it was at a thrift store, like one of those closeout stores, but it is a threshold brand. I need to take the tag off. Um, so it, you, originally it was found at Target. And also this little tray here is from Target as well. I think it's so cute. It's from the Dollar Spot actually, and I just use it on here. I have um, this pottery piece, which is from Etsy. And I'm keeping paint samples in here right now because I'm using, I'm doing some research for our toy room makeover. I have my blue light glasses here and my nail polish of the month. <laughs> I'm really into this uh, 
taupe priority right now, so it matches the aesthetic in here, and sometimes I'll paint my nails quick before I do some editing, because it's something you can do while your nails dry. And I have this little pink and white organizer I got from Amazon, and a bunch of Pilot G2 pens, that's the best ones, and then just a bunch of little odds and ends that I keep in there. And it does have some hidden storage underneath, which is super nice. I just have spare earbud pads in there. And then I have my laptop and this little ceramic, again, I got at the dollar spot for a dollar at Target. And I just use that to corral my headphones. Back here I have, I should put this, take this down, right? <laughs> this is my filming schedule and my um, sponsorship schedule. So I will put this in a safe place and that way we have some secrets, right? <laughs> Over here I just have a plant in a terracotta pot and I have this light from Amazon it's like a gold color it actually shines really nicely I like like the aesthetic it gives and then this right here is a speaker I got off of Amazon and the quality is not great if you want to like boom like music with bass and stuff but I'll just use it to like listen to podcasts or something um, if I'm doing like some boring editing that's just like you know recipe footage and stuff like that no sound involved and I will link this down below as well. I think it's so cute and retro looking. Um, I really love like the art deco pattern on it. <laughs> and then don't ask me why, but I keep my cold brew recipe back here because I still don't have it memorized yet and I hit upon the perfect ratios one time. And so I wanna make sure I get it right when I go get myself an iced coffee, you know, while I'm in here editing or something. And then I will probably keep my sewing machine here when I have it out. I'm gonna be sewing, like I said, very soon. Um, but my mom was borrowing my sewing machine because hers was needed servicing. So it's not here right now, but I will probably sew right here. And then the idea is the fabric can kind of run around the edge and around the corner. I can't wait to see how it works. I'm excited. It's going to be the first time using it. And yeah, I'm hopeful that it's going to work out great. Let me just show you quickly underneath the desk, um, just so you can kind of get an idea of how I tried to organize my cords. It's always a challenge to corral so many cords. Here you can see Josh drilled holes into my desk and then I just have these caps to kind of end it off. And then I have another set back here. Oh, looks like I could use some dusting. <laughs> I thought it was looking good, but apparently not. Um, and then the cords run down along the wall and I use these little clamps and to kind of keep them like at least a little bit organized, but I wish that was a white cord. It feels very distracting to me. And then I just hide the nest of cords back behind the trash can. Also, this flooring is a vinyl plank flooring. Um, I can try to link it below if you're looking for something similar. I really, really like it because it has warm tones and cool tones, so it, it looks great in any room. And speaking of flooring, here is my rug. What do you guys think? Oh my goodness, I love it. This rug is kind of unruly, right? Because it has all the tassels, all the fringe, but I just really like it, and I just shake it off to clean it. Um, I take it outside and just shake it off and bring it back in and add some really nice boho texture and I'll link that down below. I believe this came from Overstock or Wayfair and yeah, I really like the black accents too on the edges and I don't worry about trying to comb it out and make it straight. I kind of like it looking like a sheepdog. <laughs> And we can't ignore the chair, which, wow, it's a showstopper again. It's like this champagne colored velvet, I guess you could call it. Um, I will link it below. I think it's from Overstock. And then there's the gold and black at the bottom. And then I just have this tassely throw, again, just to add some texture and softness. And it's like this nubby fabric. And I can't link this one because I got it at a small boutique. Actually, if you ever get a chance, go check out Artisan Mill in Lidditz and you will find so many treasures there. That's where I got this. Okay, let's push this in and let's move up to my shelving. Guys, what do you see there? That's right. I'm finally revealing to you. Well, you guys helped me earn this, so thank you so much. The 100,000 subscriber plaque from YouTube. Isn't she handsome? <laughs> Wow, what an accomplishment. Thank you so much, guys. I have been wanting to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart ever since January when we reached 100,000 here on YouTube, but it felt kind of weird to be super happy and like braggy about it because I literally didn't 
do much. That was your choice to hit that subscribe button, and I thank you guys so much. Um, I mean, I did do a lot of work, but at the end of the day, a lot of people do a lot of work, and you just never know what the results will be. So I'm so glad that each one of you are here. And just to say a little thank you, I thought that it would be nice to just pick a bunch of random comments down in the comment section, and I will try to get a hold of you guys. It can be sometimes a little tricky, so definitely check your comment. And I will send you guys some Fox Sparrow items. Um, Josh said he'll package them up for you, and I can't get a hold of you. I will just jump to somebody else, so definitely be checking those out. I would love to give you all something, but giveaways can sometimes be a little tricky, and I don't like them to be gimmicky or anything like that. So, so all you gotta do is comment down below how you found my channel. I would find that so interesting to know, like was it a suggested video? Maybe you've just been around for so long you have no idea how. Maybe you're a local and you bumped into me. I don't know, I would just love to hear if it was just a suggested video, or maybe you could just say, I don't remember how I found you, but I'm glad I did, and I'm glad you guys found me. Um, whatever, just leave a comment down below, and I'll pick several of you at random. I'm thinking more like 20 people, we'll see. Um, and we can ship internationally, so that shouldn't be a problem. So thank you guys so much. I, It's long overdue, I wanted to give back to you guys. I do a giveaway, well, I've done a giveaway at 100 subscribers, 1,000 subscribers, 10,000 subscribers, and now 100,000 subscribers, so we're probably never gonna add a whole nother zero to the end of the number, so this might be the last giveaway on my channel. Hopefully not, I, I'm sure I'll find other excuses to give things away to you guys. I do wanna mention, I forgot to talk about my outfit. Uh, this shirt is from Amazon, and then my skirt I matched. <laughs> I had to match the aesthetic of my office. Is from Inherit Clothing Company, and then my sandals are from Target. But yeah, I'll try to link that down below just to be helpful. So let's continue on and talk about a little bit more decor, and then we'll talk about storage. So my clock is from Target. I just love like the natural wood. I've tied that in a few different places here. And then here's my shelf that Josh built me. And I love the gold Art Deco looking brackets. They're from Amazon. Hopefully they're still available because wow, they're beautiful. Even if you decide to spray paint them black or a different color, so nice. And then it's just pretty much a simple ledge with a plant, my plaque, our plaque. <laughs> and then I got the little vase from Martin's Furniture and Mattress. And I got the pompous grass off of Etsy. And then over here is just some random frames I picked up at Home Goods, and I framed just some random free artwork. I will see if I can find which blog I printed this off of. I can't remember. And this one here, Be Where Your Feet Are. I just love that quote. A reminder to be happy where you're planted. Um, and I just designed that myself on Canva. And another plant. You're going to see a lot of plants in here in just a sec. Down here, again, is a faux plant I got from Martin's Furniture and Mattress, and I never have to worry about watering it or if it's getting enough light, but I do have to dust it sometimes, which is not always fun. And it looks like it could use it now. All that construction, right? <laughs> multi-purpose room I really had to get creative with how I wanted to organize things store things what I wanted to keep here and some things are out but a lot of things are hidden which is how I like it I have learned that I am a ladybug I like to keep my mess behind doors um, but you've seen this area behind me so many times in videos it's changed a couple times but it's still a lot the same I have a ficus tree back here and then I have this little wardrobe hanging rack that I got off of Amazon the natural wood again looks nice with the other elements in the room and I just use this section to put any like new pieces that come in. Like right now I'm working with a brand on a video and so I wanna keep the clothes separate so I don't lose them or can't find them. Um, and I just know where they're at. And then I have boxes along the side where I store like paperwork, some electronics, things like that. We won't delve into all of them, but the boxes are pretty and then I can store things inside them. And I think I picked those up at TJ Maxx. It could've been Home Goods, but I'm thinking it was TJ Maxx. And then the things you can find at the dollar spot, wow. This, I still need something to sit on it, and still has the tag on, but I got this from Target. Is it not so cute? I don't know, I just feel like everything that's for tan is so expensive, so I was so happy to find this at the dollar spot. And then down here is just a thrifted basket I picked up in Florida one year, and in it I have um, t-shirts and stuff I'd like to do some Cricut projects on. Um, yeah, I'm just having a lot of fun with my Cricut lately, and I've been doing like some screen printing on there, so that stuff needs to be washed, and then I'm ready to screen print on there. dark 
right now, but that is totally okay because this beauty behind me is stealing the show. I got this at um, Lancaster Restore, and Josh thought it was so ugly and so like hideous, he said, and I love it so much. It's original, it's the hardware, the hardware could use replacing, but it has so much charm. It's called, like if you're looking for a similar type of piece, like on Facebook Marketplace or something, Google Armoire, I think that's what this was called. Um, and it just has such nice storage. You can open it up. Up here, I just have a collection of plants that are loving the summer sunshine. And then the top shelf is paperwork. And then in here, you can see my storage. Oh my goodness, my cords need to be wrangled. But it was really nice. Josh, you can see this wire here runs up and then you cut a hole in the back of it. And then this stuff pops out over here so I don't have to have it out charging on my desk. Yes, it's a cluttery mess, but it's hidden. And that's what I'm all about. Camera equipment, camera equipment, Thank you cards and stationery and just random stuff like that. And then I keep my Cricut supplies down in these bottom two. Yeah, it just works out really well. And yes, as, I, as you can see, it's been well loved. I love it. I feel like a piece like this is something you find once in a great while. I did think about redoing it, but what do you guys think? Now that my whole room is done, doesn't it just go perfectly with everything? I think I'm just gonna leave that banana yellowy color in there for now. And someday when it's totally out of style, I can repaint it, but for now, I like her how she is. <laughs> okay, it's gonna be kinda hard to show you what's at the windows because, you know, sunlight makes everything dark, but I have this planter that I got at Village Farm and Garden Center, and there's a pilea in there. It's just hanging from some hooks up at the window, and I painted this big, impressive picture window, bay window, whatever you call it myself. Over here's another macrame planter that one of you sweet subscribers sent to me. It has a gold ring on it. And I think that's a Shaflera I put in there. And I got the pot from Ikea. And then down here on the windowsill is where I keep my Cricut stuff. Here's my Easy Press, and then my Explorer Air 2. And it's hard to see them, but I love them right there. It's kind of like they're beautiful on their own, so why not? And then when I wanna actually use them, I set out an eight foot table right here at the window and I can plug in this outlet here, in this outlet here, and I'm just good to go. It's a very slick setup, I really like it. And then that brings our attention over here to this mirror, which Josh actually got out of a house that he was working on. Hi, there I am. Cute skirt again, right? <laughs> and then he just framed it with some raw wood, again, to match the rattan and the raw wood elements in this room. I, I mean, it's very simple. You can find similar things online, but this was ultimately free. So I think even though it's very simple, I really like it. I know Target sells similar ones that actually has like a design in the frame. So I know there's similar things out there you can find, but I'm proud of this one. Josh made it for me for nothing. Thank you, Josh. So there you have it, my office, workspace, lady cave, whatever you wanna call it. It's very simple, not a lot in here, but I like it that way because a lot is happening in here and I don't want a ton of clutter. And I foresee this space morphing into all kinds of things in the future as I get into different projects. Um, and just, yeah, it, it can be very versatile. I love how it's cordoned off with the pretty door. And it's also one of the first rooms you see as you enter our home. So I think it's a good reflection of me. So I would love to know if you guys have a dedicated workspace or if you just kind of pull things out at your kitchen table. I know it's a super blessing. My friend actually, she was genius and she has her crafting space, sewing space, up in her walk-in closet. It's away from the kids. I personally think it's genius. So be creative. You don't have to have a dedicated room you know, like I have to get your craft on, get your business on, your side hustle, whatever. Um, be creative because I used a corner of my bedroom for a while, now I have this. But I enjoy seeing how other people turn multi-purpose rooms into functional spaces. And in fact, we're gonna be doing that soon with our toy room. So definitely, if you like this type of video, subscribe and I will have that one up pretty soon. We wanna do that this summer yet. And that is going to be a lot of multi-purposing into that same room. Um, but more in like a kiddish direction, so I'm excited for that one. Thank you all so much for being here today. I hope you enjoyed it, and just know that every video is brought to you by this office because this is my editing space and my home at least 20 hours a week, so I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.